the J, the I, the M, the M, the Y, the J, the I, the M is Jimmy. Jim Alexander. Hi. Nice to meet you. Lou, did you ever know when, when you were writing together uh, The Farewell that it would have such an appeal to worldwide audiences and, and people of different cultures and, and ethnicities? Did you ever think it would have such mass appeal when, when you first got started? Well, when I first pitched the story to a bunch of different studios and producers, everyone felt like it was too narrow in scope. It was going to be too niche of a story that, you know, maybe Asian Americans would go see it, but that... Um, Asians wouldn't go to see it, uh, and that you know non-Asian Americans wouldn't necessarily go see it, especially because it was going to be subtitled. Mm -hmm. And so it's definitely been um, validating and a total shock to see so many people uh, resonate with it. And you know the film has traveled the world, and it's been um, translated into so many different languages. Yeah. And so now it's been uh, subtitled not only for American audiences into English, but you know I've seen it uh, premiere in Italy, and it's in Italian and uh, Switzerland where it's in both French and German, and so it's it's really incredible. You know, I think the thing that sends out, I come from a Polish family, I recognize these characters no matter what. I think from different backgrounds, here, you have an uncle or a cousin or, or a grandma like that. How many of these, I mean, these, must, these must have been real people in your life, that, that these characters that are in this movie. Uh, how did you relate to them personally uh, and incorporate them into the story? Uh, I think I just found what I really love about these characters and about my family, and I wanted to bring that in uh, to the story. Um, there's sort of something iconic about each of them, you know, the uh, the matriarch dominance of the grandmother. Uh, uh, the uncle uh, relationship with the father, you know, the two brothers who made different choices in life and uh, maybe there's a little bit of uh, comparing with each other at all times. Uh, and so, yeah, I think that, you know, no matter what, I, I wanted to find the lovability, uh, the charm of each character. And finally, any favorite movies that you've seen this year that really stand out, either nominated or not? Anything that kind of stood out to you and impacted you? Yeah, I loved uh, Parasite, of course. There you go. Um, and uh, loved Two Popes. Two Popes is one of my favorite films of the year, and I think it's uh, you know a film that's not as widely talked about, um, and, uh, and and has a really really important message. And uh, I loved uh, Mario Heller's uh, Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Very well said. Thank you so much. Thank you.